Hey, what's going on, guys? We're out here in Chico, California at Goodwill. Gonna do a little bit of thrifting here, see what we can find. This is Second Life. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button and also subscribe. Let's come over here, look, check it out, Let's see what we got for Pyrex. Not really seeing much as of right now. We'll just come down here a little bit more. Looking for some kind of pots and pans. We're kind of more looking for some of cast iron. There it is, right there. This one really didn't have a name on it, so I didn't really know who it is. This is uh, from Pioneer Woman. I actually looked it up when I got home because um, I actually did not get it while I was actually editing this video. I was like, oh, let's take a look at it. And I think it was going for about five to six dollars there. And online, they're actually going for about twenty-six dollars. Um, so I kind of lost out there. Because uh, I believe this is a Wilson pan right here. Pretty well known for in the baking world. Wilson uh, cake pans are 100% um, aluminum. So they're aluminum cake pan. Pretty good. Um, you can find them for the right price, you can make a good profit on them. I think these are going for about like $2.50 a piece, and there should be no problem to get uh, about $10 for them. Uh, you can see they're, they're gently used. Checking it out here. Pretty cool skull, I thought. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and then uh, check it out Santa Claus here. thought it was another Wilson, but it uh, turns out not to be. Didn't really know who the name was, so just chose to leave it. Um, this one was kind of cool. It was a little teddy bear. Same thing to me. Just kind of overpriced. Let's see right here. I think this is another Wilson we got. Yeah, so this one right here kind of threw me off for a little bit. It's a Wilson pan. Um, but didn't really know what it was. If you guys have any idea what it is, go ahead and throw it in the um, comments below. Maybe figure what it was. I thought it was kind of cool. Something a little different. Um, Try to look it up on eBay really couldn't find much, but you know, Wilson name is so yeah, go ahead and let's grab it and see what happens. Coming down the aisle here, checking out a couple more pots and pans. Not looking for anything that's hidden, not really finding anything. I'm back over here to look at some Pyrex. I've uh, found some Pyrex before. Um, if you find some older Pyrex, it's pretty good, but. So there's just so much of it at thrift stores sometimes where it's not really profitable. And then come over here down this aisle. It's kind of look more like an arts and crafts aisle, I would say. Kind of found this right here, kind of like a girl's makeup set. But uh, really at the end of the day, just kind of left it there. Not much profit in that. Kind of had some sitting around for a while and I haven't really been able to sell it. Some yarn here for arts and crafts. Again, it's not really profitable when you're um, trying to resell this kind of stuff. Let's see, right here, it's kind of, some more like kind of like yarn string. Decided, you know, take a shot and look it up uh, just because it was still in its new package. And I recommend anything you don't know. Honestly, you just gotta look it up, see what it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't, not really profitable. I think they were asking for two dollars, and on eBay they were going for about two dollars. So it was kind of cool. So you know, learn something new, but definitely not profitable at all. So I'm gonna put that back. A little Tupperware here. And then nothing really. Looks like some more Christmas bows. This is kind of out. Um, I wouldn't recommend honestly buying any more kind of Christmas the items or anything like that. Kind of taking a little look through here. Uh, just looking around, seeing what they got. But not seeing much, fortunately. This was kind of cool. I thought this was pretty interesting. I wanted a little too much for it. This is, it looks like an old um, stirrup for uh, your horse. Um, really, I thought 
thought it was a cool item, but they wanted like $10 for this. And I was just like, there's no way that I know enough about it. And I don't think there's enough people out there that would just buy us the straight stir up for a horse maybe for like a farmhouse or something like that but I just decided not to take it and go ahead and put it back I'm gonna come over here to like electronics um, handful of printers at this place I haven't really looked much into printers to be honest with you I think they're a little too big for what I like um, and what I'm trying to resell I have a small little place to kind of put all my stuff so I don't want some big printer sitting around. Plus, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like printers are kind of affordable. You can get them for a couple hundred bucks. So I found this pretty cool, it was like a plug right in your TV hunting three game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look up soul comps on this right here on eBay. And they kind of go from there. But, let's see. That was cool for hunting and stuff. Well, at least a video game, maybe a little bit older. And so on this, it was four dollars and fifty cents. However, I think the soul comps were going for about like thirty dollars. So I thought it was a pretty good buy. Uh, couldn't really look in there and see what the batteries look like. And then I was thinking about it, and then I realized kind of looking at pictures online that it's missing its front muzzle so it's not even complete so we're going to put that back and leave that going over here to the DVD and uh, VHS players um, some of these you can have really good luck with this one right here it comes with a remote and all the cords that's a big find people want remotes when they buy their VCR so go ahead let's go ahead and look up the model number here kind of go from there some of these can you can make like I said really good money so this is going for about ten dollars and the soul comps are anywhere from about fifty five to seventy five dollars with everything so we're gonna go ahead and more likely grab this um, kind of see what's sold here like I said everything's kind of sold within the between $55 to $75, so we're going to go ahead and grab there, especially because it has it all. But first, we want to go ahead and test it, make sure it all works. So, Goodwill has these kind of cool little plugs. You can plug it in and go through the motions here to kind of test it. So, it turned on, that was a good thing. Let's see, push, try to push rewind, see if we can hear anything, anything like that. Channels flips through, so go up there. So, another thing, guys, if you are um, kind of new to thrifting and stuff, that I found is really handy bring a little knife because if you can't get stuff open or if boxes are still closed, uh, it's an awesome um, thing to kind of open things like this right here. Where my nails couldn't open it, just a little knife popped it right open. Didn't really see much corrosion in there, um, which is a good thing, so it should probably work. But, so I'm going to take a, a little gamble here. So I actually took this home, guys, and the remote did have corrosion all the way in the bottom of the um, battery. It was pretty corroded out. It actually took me a while to get the battery out because it kind of swelled up. And then uh, put new batteries in it for the remote, but the remote did not work. However, the uh, VCR did work. Flipped through all the channels, rewinded, fast forward a video in there and worked perfectly fine so I want to go ahead and throw that up there it's got a little Sony tape recorder here I'm going to take a little gander and look it up batteries look good it doesn't look like there's any corrosion or anything it turned on I'll kind of play with the buttons a little bit see if everything works um, but I don't think the fast forward or the rewind didn't work so it wasn't gonna risk it or get any of these some of the new ones here um, like your soul comps on those are pretty good but it just wasn't working so here we got some pezzes I uh, found this kind of over more in the toy section and everything got like Garfield got the Ninja Turtles in there um, 
Let's see what else we can find. Kind of just some other random ones that I saw. So, oh, you know, Ninja Turtles right there. Some Skull Ones. I think that was a Yoda right there. So we're going to go ahead and probably look up some of the oh, Flintstones. So here, let's go ahead and look up the Soul Comps. So there's a full set of Pez's for $13. And that's for the Star Wars for a pack that cost $3.50. And probably a couple sets in there. Definitely going to take a take a bet and go for it. Plus at the end of the day they're pretty cool. More of a vintage look. They looked a little bit older. So So let's see here. Oh, we got a Funko Pop. Let's see who he is. Gotta go find a place. At this Goodwill up in uh, Chico, they don't really have a lot of carts, which is kind of weird. And never really ran into that. Um, maybe you guys have. If you guys have, comment below. See if maybe there's something that works at the Goodwill up in Chico. If you're watching this, maybe comment why you guys don't have a ton of carts. But let's see. This is from Gossip Girls. And. Let's see how much it was worth. I think it was going for about fifteen dollars, and it's um, Nate Archibald uh, Funko Pop six two three from, like I said, uh, Gossip Girls. And look in here for I think the price is going to be pretty good. I've seen Funko Pops. It's actually the cheapest Funko Pop I've ever seen for about, it was like about two fifty, And they were usually the ones I've seen at um, Goodwill before or other thrift stores that I've been to. Kind of were going for about five plus dollars. And you really got to look them up because if you don't look up Funko Pops, they can kind of bite you. Um, because there's not much profit to be made if you don't get them for like a pretty low price or if they're um, kind of rare but let's go and see here yeah for 250 the box is kind of a little beat up which is okay for you know for me I would say but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little bet here and go for it let's see see what we can do with it so why not and then here guys this is really cool I found this this is called this is an instant camera and I thought this thing was really really cool um, never seen one of these before I'm a big Legos fan I love Legos and I know like the instant camera the Polaroid is coming back, and I thought this was hands down awesome. When I found this, I was like, I'll keep it just for like kind of more of a personal use. But at the end of the day, like, if, if somebody wants to buy it, and they wanna, um, I'm gonna throw it up on my Macari and see where where it goes. But if no one ever buys it, I'm, like I said, I'm a huge Legos fan. I collect Legos um, when I can when I can afford it <laughs> and I just thought it was just a really really cool buy going through uh, eBay and Macari I didn't really find much on it to be honest um, didn't really find much kind of like I said look through it all and uh, when I actually got home I went ahead and looked up the the company on top there and it's actually a subscription box that they, they sent this this Lego through but it wasn't um, couldn't really find much about it which I thought was pretty cool and yeah, we'll go ahead and open it up here make sure everything's there and that's a big thing too with Legos is you uh, want to make sure everything is there and as you can see here it's, it's never been opened um, 
It's a 52 piece Lego set, so it's, it's kind of like on the smaller side, I would say. And I just, like I said, guys, I just thought this thing was super, super neat. So, if you're a huge Insta camera fan, you guys want it, you can go ahead and reach out below. Um, shoot me a message, and I can sell it. And it's also on my Macari page. So, yeah, like I said, I'm kind of just checking it out here. I thought it was a very cool, cool buy, and kind of went from there. So, I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna get it. It comes with instructions, all the pieces. So, definitely a good find. It was like almost too good to be true. That's why I kept like looking at it and I was like, really for 250 for this little thing? Like, I've seen Legos at um, Goodwill before for, you know, almost asking price of what it is in the store. So I was kind of like almost thrown off by it. But we're definitely going to take this and see what happens. So I found this little figurine here from Finding Nemo. That was pretty cool. They're asking 50 cents for it. Um, I'm not a big Finding Nemo fan, but it's a good movie, especially the turtle characters. Um, I thought they were pretty cool, but it's going for like 5 to $10 for 50 cents. How could you leave it here? So... Thanks guys for watching. Uh, you're watching Second Life. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, this is going ahead thrifting in Chico, California. If there's any place you guys want me to go thrift, go ahead and throw it down in the comment below. And I'll go ahead and try and get there. Again guys, I appreciate if you subscribe and hit that like button. Have a great night.